Hey YouTube, Zamzan95 here, and today I'm going to be making another video. This time I'm going to be making a review video, not an unboxing, and a review video like I do with my other unboxings. But um, yeah, this time I'm going to be doing just a review video. So here I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy S4, and I'm sorry if I'm reviewing random products, but um, you know, I'm not one of those unboxers that unbox like everything. So yeah. Alright, so, um, so yeah, um, I'll tell you what you get in the, uh, box. So, first off, you get the, um, the Samsung Galaxy S4 itself. Then you get the, um, the power adapter. You get earbuds. And then you also get the, um, the earbud, uh, replacement, so in case, like, these are detachable earbuds, so, like, you can, like, um, so then you can replace place them with um one of these if if this size if these size earbuds don't fit you. And it also comes with in um it also comes with um an instruction guide which tells you like how to um how to do everything. Tells you how to insert everything too. And here's the French version. And there's also a safety and warranty guide. So yeah, you too. I'm gonna be running you through the phone later, but um, right now I just wanted to show you what the image quality is like. So here are some pictures of that the Samsung Galaxy S4 can take. So this is in a pretty bright situation right here, and let me just tell you, it's a 13 megapixel camera. And it is absolutely amazing. And uh, this image right here, it's taking kind of low light, but not really. But um, it's kind of in the middle. But like you can tell, the picture quality is pretty impressive. Also, the video quality here. Um, the, the, on the left is my iPad 2 recording. On the right is my Samsung recording. So you can definitely tell that the camera is much, much better than my iPad 2. Because uh, on, my, on the Samsung S4, it's a 1080p camera it doesn't really shoot 60 frames per second but it's still very impressive and my ipad it shoots 720p 30 frames per second as well well not 1080p but uh but it also just uses 30 fps so um so yeah i'm gonna start recording videos with the samsung galaxy s4 from now on and right now i'm gonna run you through what the performance is like so this phone is powered by a 1.9 gigahertz quad core processor and let me just tell you it's super duper fast. I mean like for a phone made at like made like 2 years ago it's super duper impressive. It's absolutely amazing. Video playback is amazing. 1080 you can uh, choose between um you can choose 1080p quality which I which I also really like, but that's included in most phones. But yeah, but the um, but the playback is actually very nice. Like the quality of the videos is really good. Like if you watch Kobana Mani four five six, you're gonna enjoy him more if you watch him on an, uh, on this phone, or or a ten eighty p phone in general because like the quality is amazing. Right, okay, so now time to move on to gaming performance. So, Real Racing three. Let's just say that game is like crashes all the time on my iPad. It's not good at all on my iPad and I'm sorry if I'm sucking this race because because uh, I'm recording and I'm playing at the same time and it's kind of hard to do so um so Real Racing 3 the quality is absolutely amazing like I mean like it's super realistic for a phone for like um for a phone and um it's free on the app store so I recommend you get it because it's a very good app it's a very good game to play and um yeah it runs very well on this phone Okay, so next up, we're gonna be show. I'm gonna be showing you off uh, Badlands, which is, um, which is a game that costs like money on the iPad, but um, but it's actually free on the Android store, which I really enjoy. And this game runs super well on my um on my Samsung. There's hardly any lag at all. There's, only, there's always gonna be those occasional one or right, two stop. frame stutters when I'm playing that game though but it's but it runs very well you can also edit Microsoft Word documents and use the new um, and you can uh, download the Google keyboard off the App Store for um, to to uh, gain the ability to swipe text which is included in, on the uh, iPad but that, that would be a pain to do because the iPad is so large with the keyboard 
Like the keyboard's so large on the iPad, it's hard to reach from one end to the other. So yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the Samsung keyboard. It comes with a bunch of emojis and you can record audio um, to say what you're saying. So for example, if you on a Word document, if you wanna say like something like hello, then it will uh, display hello on the Word document. So, so you can say anything you want and it'll type it for you. So bottom line, is this phone worth it? And let me just tell you, yeah, it's worth it. It's if I were to rate it out of five, I would say it would be like around four point six out of five because well, and that translates to ninety two out of a hundred, so ninety two percent basically. But uh, but yeah, this phone is absolutely amazing for um for like at this time and at this um time and age, like. Like it's been two years. It's been two years already since the phone has been released, and it still works perfectly fine. And it just got recently updated with the Lollipop update, so hopefully it gets Android M soon. But um, yeah, this phone definitely works properly. It's like the picture quality and the video quality is amazing for me. It it doesn't compare to the S six because I mean like the S six takes absolutely stunning photos because I've seen on I've watched four uh, K videos on YouTube and the picture quality is super realistic, but but still the camera quality is amazing thirteen megapixels it has a one point nine gigahertz quad core processor. Oh yeah, did I also forget to mention how amazing the phone looks? I mean like just look at it. It has like a metal finish and and like the sides of the phone are actually made out of plastic. It's not metal, but it still looks. Very premium looking. I really like the look of it. Even the back looks very nice. It's all. It also has a removable back cover, and it also has a place where you can put an expandable. Uh, you can where you can put in a micro SD card. You can expand the phone up to uh, 64 gigabytes. So that means you'll get 80 gigs of storage total if you put the SD card in because the phone comes standard with 16 gigabytes. But um, let me just tell you that 16 gigabytes runs out pretty fast. So I recommend you do get an SD card. So, so yeah, that's basically it, and um, yeah, thanks for watching my um, my YouTube video.